Hi, welcome to Excel Video 47. We're going to talk more about conditional formatting today and uh, start where we left off in Excel Video 46. We've been to the conditional formatting menu. We've walked through everything in the highlight cells rules. Let's spend some time in the top bottom rules today. Top 10 uh, items in percent, bottom 10 items in percent. You can also highlight everything that's above or below the average. What I have today is kind of a sampling of receivables data. So let's assume that I was able to dump from my EMR, my practice management system, 105 rows worth of receivables data. And I want to say, all right, you know, where do I start? Where do I uh, go after them first? So I'm going to go to conditional formatting, top bottom rules. Let's assume what I want to see first is top 10 items. And I want to format uh, top 10 with light red fill dark text just like we've been doing in the past and you can see Excel's helping me and starting to do it for me and if you want to do 15 instead of 10 or 20 you can slowly see them go in and out let's say we want to see the top 15 and there they are and they're all highlighted for me and it's easy to see the other thing you can do is let's take that list go to conditional formatting top bottom rules Let's do a percent this time. Instead of doing uh, 10 or 15 items, let's look at percent. So the 10% the stuff, let's, this is really small. So I'm going to put this in green fill. And I want to see the top. Let's even knock it down to 5%. These are ones I may even, uh, I may write off. Or I, these are the ones I don't want to spend a lot of time with. How's that? And click OK. And here's a small one right there. And there's another small one. So there's a couple of small ones that make up the bottom 5%. Pretty easy uh, to identify those. And then the other thing you can do is you can go to Clear Rules. You can clear from selected, shells, selected cells. I'm going to clear it from the entire worksheet because I want to do one more thing while we're in this video. I want to scroll down and pick up that list there. Now what I want to do is I want to show you the av the ones that are above and below average. So it's going to automatically look at that list and say, okay, I know what the average is. And for the selected range, let's just do a fill. And you can do patterns over here too if you want. You can do and pattern style like that, say, and that's the fill we're going to do. And you click OK and everything that's above average has that goofy hard to read format in it and you could do the same thing and in a perfect world you would think that if it's not above it's below and we'll go to custom format again I'll show you one more you can go to fill effects too so what you can do is you can say take two colors so we've already got a red let's do a purple there and and then you can make it do all kinds of different things so we'll do that click OK click OK and now we've got that kind of diagonally thing saying alright those are the ones that are below average all in conditional formatting top and bottom rules it works with dates it works with numbers I think if you're looking for um, a quick way to find the top items or percent remember it doesn't have to be 10 you can make it whatever number you want or the bottom items or percent Particularly when you're looking at receivables, the top 10 items or the top 10 percent is where you want to spend your time. There's an easy way to focus on those and go after it, and above and below average work as well. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.